Anna von Hauswolf is a Swedish experimental art rock, indie rock, gothic rock artist that um, has been around for quite some time, putting out uh, a number of albums already. A few years ago she put out an album which got quite a good um, reception, I thought it was alright. Didn't leave a huge amount of impact on me, but um, it was decent enough to keep her on my radar, I guess, making sure that whenever she'd drop her next album, I'd be there listening to it. And I'm definitely glad I did listen to Death Magic, because this is a solid album, honestly. This is a very dark, ominous, just brooding, fucking gothic rock album that feels so intense. The music on here, man, is so fucking brutal. It's not brutal in the same way like a death metal album would be or like a black metal album. It's not like as ghoulish as some like genres can get, like drone and like dark wave. But it, but it's reaching there. In fact, I said drone there, but there are actually drone elements across this thing. Um, I do like the mix of genres that she goes for. It's very Chelsea Wolfe at times as well, like it's kind of weird that Chelsea Wolfe has got a lot of critical acclaim over the years, and rightfully so, but Anna von Hauswolf is playing to a very similar sound, but not as many people seem to be raving about her as much. Um, it's kind of strange that it's ended up that way. I like to see this album as though is like, say that Chelsea Wolfe and um, Anna von Hauswolf um, both occupy like a section of hell. Okay, and uh, imagine like hell is split into like different uh, sections, like different factions, different tribes or whatever. And there's a really like evil part where Chelsea Wolfe is the leader. But then on like the softer side of hell, maybe perhaps where, um, you know, there are people that are kind of like nicer. They're not as like, um, they're not as evil as some of the like devils in hell. That area of hell is occupied by Anna von Hauswolf, which is a bit more heavenly and a bit more like organic, I guess. It's not quite as raw and it's not quite as deathly. That's pretty much what I imagine when I listen to this album. I know it's a bit of a strange link to make, but I just see Anna von Hauswolf as more of like a angelic type figure that uh, has beautiful vocals. Um, they saw across her albums in a very like, uh, angelic type of way. Just imagine like a Julia Halter singing over like gothic rock. That's kind of what um, I get from this album. And the thing with this album though is that some of the tracks just kind of meander a little bit. Like they go on for like 15 minutes. Like there are two songs that go on for quite a long time in this album. And obviously that's not a bad thing, but I just feel like with that runtime of a song, you'd kind of think there would be more going on, but they don't really go anywhere in the way that I want them to. What I kind of think to myself when I'm hearing these songs, I just kind of want them to get more insane as they go along, like more just hellish and just like absolutely terrifying, but they never really reach that point in, Ch in the way that Chelsea Wolfe's music does, which is why I made that point of her music being a little bit more softer, um, not a little bit more softer, a little bit softer, I can't even use grammar guys. The Marble Eye is the second to last track, there's only like five tracks on here anyway, but this track is like more of an instrumental, it's quite an interesting sound that they use on this track, um, and then it flows into the final track, and there's not much really vocal work going on here, there was a little bit at the end, um, but it's sort of like and more of an ambient piece, really. But yeah, for sure, there are moments that do feel quite chilling, quite um, just like, oh, like so intense that you're just like imagining so many things that like are just, just out of this world because of the way she like create, the way she crafts her music in such a dark way. Um, but yeah, it, it's enjoyable for what it is, but it doesn't quite grip me in the way I want it to. It sort of flies by at points, not really hitting that spot that it's. I feel like it's meant to. A little bit like that Arca album, I feel like that Arca album was supposed to hit something that it never quite did for me in the way that a lot of people loved. It's like, it's, it's almost there, but it's just not quite. The rest of the footage for this video has disappeared. I, I, don't, I don't know where the fuck it is, I can't find it. Um, <laughs> but anyway, 
Uh, this album, I'm going to say, is a B minus. Uh, I already said it's a B minus, but it's disappeared. I don't know where it is, but it's it's a solid album. Nothing that's going to resonate with me too much, but certainly something that is creepy and eerie enough to make an impact and worth your time absolutely so yeah go listen to it subscribe to the channel for more reviews podcasts interviews track reactions all that kind of music related stuff and that's it hope you listen to this album let me know your thoughts on it and have a good day